Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So if you are just joining us, um, you have missed us talking about the Nigerian government and all of its shortcomings, which doesn't finish. But let's move on, on to other complicated aspects of life. Remember, you can contribute to the show, like I mentioned earlier, by sending in your messages via WhatsApp on 0965719. So Nigerian singer and YBNL princess Temi of Wasa, I'm sorry if I forgot that name, recently revealed that she is an atheist during an interesting question and answer session on Instagram. The singer had told her fans about her question, prefer, that she preferred to be questioned about her album. But during the question and answer session, a fan asked her whether she is an atheist. And she responded by saying, I am a thinker and I am constantly questioning. My beliefs aren't certain. Abrahamic religion have myopic definitions of God. So yes, I believe in a force, energy. I believe in patterns. I believe in science. I don't think God doesn't exist. I think I am God. I think you are God. I think human mind is too small to comprehend a lot of things. So I pretend I have it all. So I won't pretend that I have it all figured out. Uh. <laughs> all right, so basically, I think um, she made a lot of sense. Um, in the sense that um, God is who you make it to be. I believe there's a God in each and every one of us. There's a force, there's an energy, there's, there's something that keeps us going. I've seen mm. people that don't pray, that don't go to church, mm. that don't even believe in God and things are working out for them because mm. why? They have a good heart and they're doing the right things and they're um, grace, grace. Mm. I think it's just called grace. I think that's the word I've been looking for. It's called grace. There are a lot of people that, uh, you know, they have um, a, a, a large a large amount of grace upon them that no matter, regardless... Well, back, regardless of be, the religion. Yeah, mm. they may be rough around the edges, baby, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> but at the end of the day, they mm. are still blessed. So, yeah, so I think it happens that way. And sometimes I feel that way, too. I feel like I'm, I'm a demigod. I'm mm. a god on my own. Oh, I feel like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, because sometimes I, I, I say... I speak <laughs> things into existence. <laughs> things that I do not Tell even them, know. I just... I I wake I, I woke up this morning telling myself that look um, <laughs> you're gonna make money today and it's not even eleven o'clock yet. I've and made like fifty G's already. Come you on, know, money. Come but yeah, on. it is money. <laughs> you get me? And I don't know what's gonna happen before the end. You know, it could be, it could triple. You know, it could triple, it could double. So sometimes you just need to speak it into existence and then just watch how God mm. is just gonna make it happen or the God in you is gonna mm. make it happen. And I like the fact that she said that. She's not saying there is no God. Yeah. She's saying that there is a God, but at the same time, the God is... That she's who, defined. Yeah, it. that you define your God. You know, like we were talking about the scripture last week as well. We said a lot of people just look at the scripture and they listen to their spiritual leaders. When your pastor tells you, mm. you define it for yourself. Read, understand the scripture. That's the only way it works. So, mm. yeah, I'm a God. You're a God. You're a God. We're all gods. I mean, it definitely caught my attention because the headlines were just saying, oh, and she said... I mean, yeah. So now I was like, okay, what? and then when uh -oh. I read it, I'm like, I can, I can understand it. I was like, I wouldn't. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, they have to click bait. Yeah. yeah. But I'm like, I can understand because, like you said, she didn't say, oh, there's no God. There's people that have that approach that there's no God, and everybody who um, believes in God is like just dumb and naive and things like that. There's that approach, but she's coming from a place of, I know there's a higher power. You know, I still believe. I'm still questioning. I'm still, you know, exploring my faith. Mm. That's what I'm hearing from her. So mm. I respect it. Like it, some people go through different, um, different paths. journeys in yeah. their mm. paths in their faith. So it's understandable. It's I think understandable. I, I like that you mentioned that different people do that. Yeah. Um, it's very easy. The word myopic stands out a lot mm. for me when we talk about religion mm -hmm. because I think a lot of people take that approach yeah. to religion. Um, un until I was fortunate enough to um, get more exposed to other people, I, I thought it was only Christianity that, mm. or it was only Christians who were so gingered about Christianity. Mm. So when I say that, the Muslims are just as gingered, and the Buddhists, and the Hindus, and the uh, Ogun worshipper, mm. and they can die on the fact that their religion is the best religion mm. in the world. It is definitely correct to say that it is very relative what your approach or what your idea of God is. Yeah. Um, and this is hers. I'm really, I, I, I'm personally, I, I'm 100% with her on that. I don't know if I would say she's an atheist because mm. I know that atheism is that you don't, you don't believe, believe that yeah. there is a, there's a presence of God. So I would consider her agnostic, which mm -hmm. is the same same way I kind of define myself as well. And that I, I acknowledge that there is God, but I, I do think that human mind is just too little to comprehend what that really means and 
in, 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 its, in its true aspect, I think everybody is trying to make an attempt to define what they think that is. And we're all trying. Exactly. <laughs> and I don't think one person's trying is better than the other. Exactly. If Christianity and going to church and even listening to your spiritual leaders and reading the Bible has been able to give you some type of structure to go through life more, more effectively, I think go ahead and do that. But that doesn't work for everybody. Exactly. We all, all have very different approaches, yes. very different experiences, I, and that affects the way we see exactly. God. Exactly. I mean, you see people who do the same thing that you've done that has helped this person's life, but then they become obsessive and they turn it into this cult mm. thing and it's mind ma manipulative and all of that stuff. So personally, I'm with her a lot on this particular topic. I just wish that a lot of a lot of Christians, I'm going to say Christians are because that's who mm -hmm. I am exposed to. I think I just wish that a lot of Christians will have more grace to people who think yeah. like this. I think... It's only on this table and, and a very few other spaces that this conversation is this healthy mm. and constructive. A lot of the times that I'll pray for you and you Trust know me, girl, you are going I to know. hell and all of that type of stuff. So I really like that we're getting more more progressive as a people and we're able to come out and say things yeah, like this. Yeah, we should be gracious mm. to people. They not everybody has to be on the same level as you are in your faith. Like even as a Christian, I know in the church people find it difficult because everybody is like like you said you're going to hell if you don't do this if you yeah. don't if you're not in this point of your life with God the way we are, but I don't see it like that. You should be gracious. You should allow people experience God yeah. the way God has ordained them to, you know, and get to their level of faith. Alrighty, that was a lot. Let's <laughs> quickly go on a break, guys. Trust me, there is more than just us talking. We have special guests and games and all that, so Yay. please do stay tuned.